Hello beautiful people, this is Brie and I am coming to you from Umami Gourmet Coffee and Exotic Tea. And today I wanted to bring to you a picture recipe of our famous or my famous margarita mix. And in this, with this margarita mix, we're gonna make a large batch and the batch is for 18 people to receive four ounces each. It is a bit heavy handed and you will see that I want you to make a pinky promise that you will make sure that you uh, mix it over ice because it is heavy handed. <laughs> this is a grown folks recipe. And when I say grown folks, I know you're supposed to be 21 before you drink anyway. But when I say grown folk, I mean you have to be able to handle this and you can't be driving. But we're gonna do a regular margarita a heavenly retreat which is made with one of our teas here margarita and we're going to do a berry margarita so i am so excited for you to come on this journey with me so let's get started <music> beautiful people this is Brie coming to you with another picture punch and I am so excited the reason why I'm so excited is because I am actually fixing this punch for my birthday weekend so I am going to do a margarita punch and then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can have the margarita punch all weekend but so that you won't get tired of it, you can have it so a lot of different ways. So let's get started. I've started working on my limes here, started to cut it. Uh, this recipe, it is a recipe for at least 13 people. So we have eight limes in the bowl. I put them in a bowl of warm water. I rinsed them first, put them in a bowl of warm water just to kind of get them, get the juices going. So I'm gonna squeeze those limes so I can get my nice uh, lime juice. Okay, we have about a cup and two thirds here. So we're gonna get started with the recipe. So I just get, got finished squeezing my limes and I actually used a whole bag. I went to Sam's Club and bought a whole bag of limes and I've used all of them. I've left one of them for the garnishments, but that was some work. I've been blessed with lime juice now. So we're gonna put those in my stainless steel bowl to get those out of the way. And I just wanted to show you this too. I had a couple of limes that were irregularly shaped. That were shaped, were irregularly shaped. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the word, but anyway, that were um, irregular shapes. So what I did was cut them a little more, and then they fit in the um, juicer perfectly. So I decided that I had enough limes to actually make a bigger batch. So we're going to make a batch for 18 people, which is only going to be for probably me and my husband. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's going to be for the weekend. So... 
I'm gonna make a bigger batch of tea and we are going to get started. Um, let me just clean up a little bit. That was a mess. I have my two and a quarter cups of freshly squeezed lime juice. Okay, we are ready to make this pitcher margarita. And I did some of the prepping early so that, or this will be a very long video. <laughs> so it looks kind of messy right now, but I promise you, we will use everything over here and you will see this all come together. So, so when I was looking at this recipe, I noticed that some people swore by the Blanco tequila, tequila and others swore by the Reposado tequila. So I was like, well, I think I would like to do a margarita and mix the tequilas. I, you know I'm the mixing queen, so we're gonna do two cups of the Reposado tequila and two and a half cups of the Blanco tequila. So let's put that in our pitcher. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with two and a quarter cups of lime juice. And then we're gonna go in with two and a quarter cups of an orange liqueur. And that could be a triple sec or a Cointreau, or I think those are the two familiar ones. That's two and a quarter cups of your orange liqueur. And that is really it. We're gonna stir it. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Yeah, that's it. So, what we wanna do first is rim our glass. And I'd like to have a salted rim. So I have some salt crystals here. So we have a rim glass there. And this recipe is a little heavy handed. I'm gonna go ahead and admit that. It's heavy handed for a reason though. So this is, this recipe makes 18 four ounce servings. But you have to promise me that you will make sure that this is shaken over ice because this is a grown-up recipe. This is for somebody who, who loves, who loves their margaritas, okay? So you need to shake that up like we did, and that's gonna make sure that you have some ice shards in there also. And this is our first margarita. Let's see how this came out. That's delicious. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm wondering why this is a little bitter. So, forgot to put the agave in there. <clears throat> We're going to do three quarters of a cup of agave.
Stir that really, 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 really good. And I'm gonna pour mine in here just to get some of that agave in there. Try it again. Yeah, that agave in there really brings the sweetness sweetness to it. The fresh squeezed limes. It takes a while, but it is worth the wait. The corn true coming through there. The reposado mixed with the blanco tequila. This is just delicious. This is the best uh, margarita I've had in a very long time. That's good. Okay, so let me get one more, one more sip. Okay. I'm gonna clear off a little bit and then I'll come back and um, let you know where we are because we have at least two more margaritas to make okay so we have our base that's delicious we've stirred that up we've had our regular margarita the first day sipping on that a couple times and remember we promised that we were going to shake it up right shake it up <laughs> that's going to make all the difference in the world because i did pour this a little heavy-handed so now what we want to make is the Heavenly Retreat Margarita. And the reason why I call it that is because I'm making this with one of our teas from Umami. So let's get started with this particular recipe. We have the Heavenly Retreat here. Um, you probably can't see this in the bowl, but I will put the link to this on our website. And what it is, is it's a hibiscus base. It has lemongrass, it has rose hips, it has orange peels. It has a lot of citrus notes in there. So I felt like that would be a good tea to play off the citrus notes that are already in the margarita mix. So I brewed some Heavenly Retreat earlier. So we have this um, brewing and sitting. It's been sitting for over 10 minutes. So that means it has all of those good flavors in there that you're looking for. So what we're gonna do is gonna start with, we're gonna rim the glass. And what I thought would be a nice addition to rimming um, to this particular recipe was to rim the glass with some honey and ginger crystals. So that's what I have here. I've swapped out the, the salt and we have some honey and ginger crystals that we, that I put on here. I think they're gonna need some agave. So I'm just gonna put a agave a little bit. There we go. See how pretty that is? We have a rim ginger honey glass. This particular recipe calls for four ounces of tequila. I mean, of the, the mix. So 
I'm gonna put that in there. And then two ounces of hibiscus. Let's shake this up. And I chose to use my tea because it does have some hibiscus notes in there. But of course, you can use the same recipe for just regular hibiscus uh, margarita. And I'm gonna use the ice and everything in there. So, see how beautiful that is? Let's try it. Mmm, guys, that is delicious. So, what this is, is I'm getting them. My taste buds are just they're they're happy because what i have in here i have hibiscus i have orange peel i have lemongrass i have those flavors in there i have um um just just a lot of flavors in the tea already okay but then in the margarita mix i have tequilas i have two types of tequilas i have triple sec i have corn true i have lime juice i have agave so and then I rim the glass with ginger honey with the agave. Let me tell you something. This right here, this is it. Mm, that is really good. And I didn't rim the entire glass, but you may want to rim the entire glass because <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay. So that is drink number two. Let's clean off a little bit and let's get to the next one. Put that in there. I don't want to miss none of that. That is really good. So the next and last margarita that we're going to do is called a berry margarita. And for this margarita, I am going to use a sugared rim. And I just have a little bit of the cane, pure cane sugar there. So we still have our handy margarita mix that we made that's gonna make all of this easy. So what we're gonna do is start with half a cup of berries. I use frozen berry, make sure that it's cold. So let's start with the half a cup. don't have my muddler so I'm gonna have to use this to muddle the berries up and let's do a half a cup of blueberries as you can see these thawed out a little bit but that's okay has that nice juice down in there very good for this recipe but they're still cold so that's a good thing so I'm just gonna munch these up a little bit or smash these up a little bit and 
this looks like it's enough for two glasses or for a very big glass. If you have a muddler, of course, then this will be a lot easier than this is right now. But we're going to just mash them up a little bit. And I'm going to use one of these glasses because... This is for a nice tall glass. Let's see. Oh, this is four ounces. Isn't it just funny when I realize stuff that I've already written down? <laughs> this is four ounces and this is only supposed to be one ounce. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pour some of it out. This can make about four. This is about enough for four servings. Okay, so this recipe calls for four ounces of fruit, which I have here, and then five ounces of tequila. So remember, we promised that we were gonna shake this up over some ice. So I need five ounces of this wonderful tequila mix. Let me stir it up a bit to make sure that it hasn't settled. six ounces and we're gonna shake this very good okay and again I'm gonna use the same ice that's already in here a lot. So I'm going to pour about that much in there and then we're going to put our fruit in there. And of course you know if you have your muddler then it's going to not be full pieces of fruit but I love my fruit anyway I don't mind sucking it up in my straw so that's our dirt oh shucks I forgot to rim my glass I swear so we want a sugar rim with this so what we're gonna do is rim the glass with the line and then go around with sugar. And there's our sugar ring. That is delicious. Oh my God. I'm sorry for slurping. <laughs> I didn't bring my straws out because I knew I was gonna do different rims. So this, oh my God, this is a game changer here. this is good it's really good and just so that you know the more that we are here together the more that you will know 
a lot of these recipes I don't do ahead of time. I want to be just as surprised or, you know, let you know how I like it or if I don't like it with you. I don't want to do it ahead of time and then, you know, I, that's fake to me. So what I want to do is come on and you see my, reac my reaction from these drinks. This one, you do need a straw just because you have so much in there and it probably would be a good idea to get one of the larger straws that they use with boba tea. But this is really good. It has the fresh berries in there. The fresh um, strawberry, I mean, not fresh, the frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries in there. And then you have your tequila mix. Um, and it's muddled blueberries. The Let me tell you something. This tequila mix is a game changer, okay? It's a game changer. This will be in my refrigerator this weekend. And I will be sipping on it. You see how much I have left? I have... <laughs> Three drinks now that I have to put in cups because I'm not drinking all of that tonight. This is definitely a game changer. Oh my God, I'm so glad that I decided to do this. Mm. So there so you have, have it. made three different margaritas from one pitcher mix. So the picture, so all the recipes will be listed down below. But just to recap, we have our margarita base here. This feeds 18 people, four ounces a piece. And remember that we promised that we would shake this over ice because it is a little heavy handed. It is the best recipe that I've had in a very long time. I would say hands down, it's the best. So we have the margarita regular margarita with a salted rim of course you can't beat that that's hands down and then we have the heavenly retreat margarita which is made with one of our teas here you can also make this with hibiscus margarita but this one we rimmed the glass, I only rimmed half the glass, but I rimmed the glass with a ginger, with some agave and with a ginger honey uh, rim. That's also delicious. And then, that one, let me tell you something. This one right here, that is delicious, okay? I love ginger. And you can also, of course, you can rim it with salt. You can rim it with sugar. I just wanted to do something different. But what happens is with this one, the agave makes it stick a little better. So when you're drinking it, you're getting the agave, the ginger, the hibiscus, the limes, the tequila. This one is, I think this may be my favorite but you know like your kids you don't want to let them know so we're not going to tell them but this one is really good and then as the end we have a berry margarita and this has fresh berries in it with a sugar rim i don't know i can't choose i can't say which one is my favorite And you are gonna need the straw that has, that's a little bigger because I am getting some of the hibiscus, I mean, some of the berries and the the strawberries in, the, in there. But let me tell you, this, I had so much fun making this video. <laughs> and if you have a party, if you're just making it to put it in the fridge for the weekend, it is well worth it let me tell you i still have i have a lot of tequila mi mix left over this is you know one two this is actually two drinks in itself so i still have a lot of drinks left over and this will last me the whole weekend i cannot wait 
and the last drink, I still have that much left over. I cannot wait to enjoy this this weekend. So this is Bree. Thank you for joining me and coming on this <laughs> crazy journey with me. I am a new YouTuber. I'm really enjoying this and I'm hoping that you enjoy my videos just as much as I'm enjoying making, I'm enjoying making them. But please like and subscribe. Please share with your friends. Please let anybody know and everybody know that um, we are here and I'm hoping that you can really come on this crazy journey with me. But thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.